Welcome to the webinar for Creating Inspired Digital Moments, where we talk about the latest release from NextGuest Digital, Content Personalization 2.0. Let's start with some introductions. My name is Jacqueline Maloney, and I'm the Product Manager for our newest module. And my name is Gil Christenberry. I'm the Content Team Lead at NextGuest. Today we're going to co cover quite a few topics. We will start with the basics about personalization, why it is important and the benefits, and then we'll move into how the module works, content in the travel planning journey, what you can personalize on your website, and finish up with personalization in action. To start off, let's discuss what is the content personalization engine, or CPE as we refer to it. The personalization engine allows you to leverage the data that is sitting right within your hotel website to provide a tailored experience to each guest who visits your site. Personalization is to your website, which your front desk staff is to the hotel. It is a meaningful way to greet your guests and provide them with the information they're looking for. We can do this by leveraging over 200 data points collected per visitor session. We use this information to dynamically change the website experience and give your guests a unique experience. And what's more is our travelers are looking for these personalized experiences. If you take a look at the data from the Google study, People not only want, but are willing to pay more if you give them a personalized experience. So why is personalization important? You might say, well, I have a CRM or a loyalty program where I'm actively fostering my relationship with my guests. And that might be true and you might be doing a great job, but you're only working with your confirmed guests. What about those potential guests that you have no information on? We know that almost 98% of all website visitors leave a hotel website without making a booking. We need to redefine the definition of your guest and create an engaging di digital experience for all 100% of your website guests and your potential confirmed guests. Providing a one website experience fits all is no longer an option to engage customers and drive bookings. And even for the 2% of your confirmed guests, the demands of today's consumers are far more challenging than ever before. We're all bombarded with emails and snail mail and notifications and distractions causing us to abandon ship mid-booking. Even for the ones that do book, they're visiting 38 websites prior to booking. Personalization takes the burden off of the consumer to open the email, read the notification, or look through the website for the latest hotel offer experience. The control is put back in the hands of the hotel because you can push the right messages to the right guests based on behavior they've exhibited already. And consumers are not just asking for this sort of personalization, they've come to expect it. According to Marketo, a staggering 79% of consumers say they are only likely to engage with an offer if it has been personalized to reflect previous interactions that they've had with the brand. And while most hotels actively collect data and track the interaction that visitors have had on the website, Many do not use this information to benefit the consumer or the hotel. Content personalization uses this data to drive engagement and direct booking. So now that we've covered why personalization is important to your guests, what are the benefits to you? Whether you are a boutique property in a popular resort town, a secluded lodge tucked away in the woods, or a global hotel chain in the middle of a city, every hotel has its own unique brand. Long before a guest sets foot on your property, they land on your website. And this may be the first time they're hearing your name and taking a look around. And just like any first impression, you don't get a second chance. Personalized content goes a long way in making that strong first impression. Welcome first-time visitors with a personalized message or deliver a special offer based on their location. This first interaction can set the tone for the rest of your relationship, as well as how they perceive your brand. And of course, we shouldn't stop personalizing at the first interaction. Users visit multiple websites over the course of several days before booking a hotel. According to Google, more than 40% of travelers say they bounce back and forth between dreaming about and planning their next trip. To really strengthen the customer relationship, utilize personalization to welcome return visitors with a custom message. By tailoring messaging and creating content that resonates, you can help guide customers through dreaming and planning to the booking phase. And even if a potential guest is still not quite ready to book, your hotel is likely, likely to remain top of mind as a brand that offers a personalized experience. We've already talked about how personalization is key in order to ensure a dynamic user experience for your website visitors. 
By personalizing content, you can tailor the website experience and engage your audience by serving unique content in the right place at the right time and to the right visitors. Utilizing demographic and behavioral targeting makes it possible for hotels to serve specific messages to various customer segments. For example, if we look at mobile users who put in today's check-in date, you can assume these are guests, assume these are guests looking for last-minute accommodations. Appeal to these guests with urgency and say something like, stay tonight and receive free breakfast and Wi-Fi. Or if a visitor lands on your website from a specific Google ad focused on the destination, you can deduce that they're interested in planning travel to your hotel's location. Present them with a destination-focused marketing message like, stay at our boutique hotel in the heart of Manhattan near the best shopping, dining, and entertainment in the city. According to a Google study, 67% of travelers are more likely to book with a travel brand that provides relevant information for the destinations they're interested in. Providing this relevant content can engage visitors and move them further down the path to purchase. More direct bookings is the ultimate goal of content personalization. By tailoring your website content, we nurture guests through the travel planning journey, from their first website visit to the moment they click the Book Now button. And although converting every guest doesn't happen overnight, with the right personalization strategy put in place, we can work towards increasing more of your website visitors from lookers to bookers. By creating unique content for each of your customer segments, as well as the various phases throughout the travel planning journey, you can build brand equity, engage your website visitors, and finally win more direct bookings through your hotel website. So let's break this down into something more tangible. What if we increase the conversion rate 1%? So instead of having only a 2% of your guest book, you have 3% of your guest book. Well, we ran the math on a typical client to see what would happen if the website conversion rate increased one percentage point. With just one more percent of visitors booking, the same hotel would see bookings double and a 230% increase in revenue. If we look at the average revenue the hotel received from every unique visitor that comes to their website, revenue per unique visitor jumped from $9.39 to $21.50. All of this with the same marketing budget and the same amount of traffic to the hotel website. The hotel can make more revenue from the people who are already coming to the site without having to increase marketing efforts. Now that we've discussed why personalization is important and have shown the real impact it can have on the bottom line, I'm going to turn it over to Gil to take us through why the right content paired with technology is key. So let's take a look at how it works. The first step is knowing the right customer. We start by building a profile based on demographics like age, income, and location. Then we look more closely at behavior including hobbies, passion points, and interests. This helps us understand the functional and emotional benefits that users associate with your brand. And what is a customer persona? A customer persona is a snapshot of a semi-fictional customer that includes information like demographics, behaviors, goals, and motivations. It's a great way for marketers to understand who we're speaking with and how to communicate with them. Here's an example of a customer persona we use at NextGuest. Rather than looking at this potential customer as a single budget traveler, for example, we can paint a picture of a solo adventure with specific interests, needs, and concerns. Now let's look at the travel planning journey. We break the travel planning journey into four main phases, dreaming, planning, booking, and experiencing. Looking at each phase individually helps us understand where our customers are and what content will appeal to them. We personalize content for each phase of the travel planning journey. For example, in the dreaming phase, we can add inspiring messaging on the homepage. For planning, we can use promo tiles that call out specific offers and discounts. And for booking, we use urgent messaging that encourages conversion. So what can be personalized? We can personalize hero image marketing messages, special offers and promo tiles, URL redirects, JavaScript and CSS, body copy sections and advanced content modules. 
This is an example of a home page with messaging designed to pique a user's interest and inspire them to, inspire them to get away. Thanks, Gal. Let's finish up the webinar by looking at some examples of personalization in action and a real-life case study. Scenario one, which is a common one for a hotel, boosts last-minute bookings. We can combine multiple metrics here to create our ideal audience. First, let's start with people who we know have already initiated, initiated a booking within the booking window for this specific hotel. We can then layer in additional qualifications. We want someone who has spent at least five minutes on the site, as they are likely familiar with the content and closer to booking. And then we also want to add someone who is nearby for this property, as they would be more likely to complete a booking than someone who needs to book a long-haul flight. And this tool really gives you flexibility, because you can completely ta tailor the scenario for your hotel. So if you do have a last minute audience that comes from further away, or your booking window is only one day, you can change any of these parameters. And then once we set up the rule, it's as simple as activating the right content. What is going to speak to your drive-in market who's coming in last minute? This is where we can leverage the services, offers, and amenities you already have at your hotel, and either just serve them the right message or create custom content to reach our audience. For our second example, Let's look at increasing the average booking value we're getting from each guest. So we want to target people who are likely to spend more money. In this case, we're going to focus on past bookers. So we want to target someone who completed a booking with a certain room type, anything that is above a basic room. We can also target someone based on their lifetime revenue. So if someone has had either multiple bookings, longer stays, or upgraded room types and amenities, we want to focus on these guests. We can also set up query string targeting. So if someone comes from an email, specifically if you send a targeted CRM email campaign to guests who meet a certain RFM score, then we can ensure that they are seeing the right content when they land on the site. Here's a great example of how we can tailor the content based on the room type book and a guest who is specifically coming from a CRM email. We know they have an upcoming stay and we are showing them the right message to entice them to upgrade to the next level of room from a king room to a suite, and from a junior room to the penthouse. And finally, let's take a look at how we compare content personalization with the loyalty program. We have multiple targets we can incorporate based on someone's CRM profile. We can look at a point balance and focus on those users who are closer to moving into the next tier level. We can build in additional metrics as well, such as those who have abandoned a booking and give them an incentive to book. We can also add in session duration. If someone has been on the site for more than two minutes, we can serve the right messaging at the right time. And finally, we can focus on the RFM value. We know what type of guest this is, and we can serve the messaging that will resonate with them and will entice them to book with you directly. So with CSS and JavaScript, you can have a like back banner appear after a certain amount of time on a page such as the homepage. By tailoring the message, we can show them that their exclusive offers relative to their own loyalty status that they are eligible for. And now let's take a look at a recent case study. The aim for this hotel was to increase conversions and total booking revenue by using targeted content on the hotel website. The next guest digital team created messaging that highlighted the advanced purchase rate and targeted family travelers and California residents. Utilizing the content personalization engine, the content was shown to website visitors coming from California, those who had initiated a booking at least seven days in advance, and those who had initiated a booking with children. Over one month, the hotel saw a 22% increase in year-over-year -year conversion rates, a 135% increase in average revenue per visitor, and a 9.6% increase in average revenue per booking across all website visits. This resulted in 123 bookings generated and $72,000 in direct revenue. So now that we've looked at these examples, let's summarize what we've discussed today. Remember, consumers are demanding personalization, and the time is now for hotels to provide the customized experiences your guests want. Not only do guests want personalized experiences, but the benefits of content personalization are simple. Build your brand equity, engage your website visitors, and ultimately increase direct bookings. Thank you so much for joining us today. 
And for any questions or to learn more about the product and see a demo, reach out to our team at hello at nextguest.com.